Hello, Elk Grove Unified students, families, and staff. Welcome to another episode of EGU News. I'm Santi Pinkerton. And I'm Sandeep Dosanjh. Here are the headlines for today. Getting prepared for distance learning, makeup days for Chromebook checkouts, daily reminders, and the county and state update on COVID-19. Thank you, Sandy. In e, uh, the EGUSD distance learning starts in only three days for middle school and high school, and it's only about seven days away for elementary school students. Hey, Sandy, remember last week um, we talked about the five tips for parents with distance learning? Yes. Okay, so last week we focused on tip number one and tip number two. And today we're going to be focusing on tip number three. And all of these are for how parents can, you know, get prepared for distance learning. So tip number three has to do with communicating with your student's teacher. Um, so if you happen to miss the five tips that we talked about, well, now's your opportunity. You have a chance to see a short video that we prepared for you on those five tips. Hello, Elk Grove families. The purpose of this video is to share a few family-friendly tips for making distance learning feel successful. Tip 1. Set up a comfortable learning space that works for your household. This might be a kitchen table, countertop space, or comfy couch. Having a dedicated learning space with minimal distractions and all supplies and materials ready contributes to a successful learning environment. Tip 2. Set a daily routine and schedule that makes sense for your family. Having a predictable routine and schedule creates consistency, which can help children feel a sense of normalcy during these very different circumstances. Waking up at a set time, getting dressed as you normally would, eating breakfast, and logging into your online classroom is just one example of a simple daily routine. Having a daily routine can lead to success with distance learning. Tip 3. Communicate as often as needed. Encourage older students to use their teacher's office hours to ask questions and to get help as needed. Parents and guardians, check in with your student to make sure they can tell you what they are learning and what the expectations are in their online classroom. Tip 4. Familiarize yourself with the device and platform being used during distance learning. Whether students are using a district-issued Chromebook, a personal laptop, tablet or gaming system to access Google Classroom or Zoom, be familiar with all of them in order to support your student as needed. Tip 5. Follow healthy habits. Healthy habits may include taking frequent breaks away from all screens, doing 30 minutes or more of physical activity, practicing mindfulness to create a sense of calm, eating healthy snacks, drinking enough water, and getting plenty of sleep. Remember to take deep breaths, be flexible and encouraging. Above all else, extend grace to yourself, your students, and the teacher. In closing, we have shared five tips that can help you feel successful with distance learning, and we hope you find them useful. As we all transition to this new way of teaching, learning, and connecting, remember that we are all in this together. For more resources, visit www dot e g u s d dot net great tips and parents can review our april 9th letter as well as um the youtube eu news video for more information that's right and so when it comes to distance learning what we're what we see about tip number three is that communication is key yeah, and we, we know that quite well in our profession. Now, students can email their teacher using Student View, as well as through Google Classroom in a class post. Students can access Student View and their Google Classroom through the district's class link portal. Yes, and all students should use, they should use their assigned email to email a teacher um, and or a school staff member, and not, Sunday. they got to understand this, not their personal email. They all have school-assigned emails, and if they don't know it, they can always ask their teacher. Yes. Now, for parents, well, parents can email a teacher or a student staff member using ParentView. If a parent needs their ParentView account activated, they should contact the school secretary. 
parents may also visit their school's website and refer to their staff directory for email addresses. If a staff email is not listed, please contact the school secretary. That's right. So, you know, Sunday, what should parents and students expect to hear from their schools this week? What, what's some of the communication? Yeah, that's a great question, Zanthi. Here are a few of the communication pieces parents and students should expect this week from their school. Number one, welcome back letter from their school principal to parents and students. Number two, welcome back letter from students, teachers to parents and students. Number three, for our TK or kindergarten parents, information about picking up a distance learning packet. Parents also have the option of downloading and printing the TK or kindergarten distance learning packets online. Right, and I heard from our tech department today that that uh, link is now online and will be, it's in the letter. So please reference the letter for important links that are, that are all embedded in there. So, um, you know, let's go on to other news. I think it was a great update on tip number three for communication. Um, and so let's talk about some other things that uh, the district will be doing this week to get prepared. So Sunday. Some the, yeah, some of the calls we've been getting are related to holding Chromebook checkout makeup days uh -huh. um, and that's scheduled for Tuesday and Wednesday. Families and students may visit any of the three high school locations that I'm going to list out where Chromebook checkouts will be offered. So the dates will be Tuesday, April 14th from 9 a.m. to 12 noon, and Wednesday, April 15th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, okay, so it's tomorrow morning. Yes. And then it's on Wednesday afternoon, and it's Correct. at, okay, and it's at these locations, is what I understand. Yeah, go ahead. So it's only these three. It's Monterey Trail High School. It'll be in, in front of the admin building. You'll see the checkout there. It'll be at Laguna Creek High School along the edge of the student parking lot. And then the third school is Sheldon High School using the first row of the student parking lot. That's right. So here are a few reminders. Per the updated Sacramento County Public Health Order that was issued last week, all district sites, including the Robert L. Trigg Education Center that I'm in right now, will be closed to the public until May 1st, 2020. Enrollment and other educational and business services will continue. Okay, okay. And I think so, how, you know, how am I going to get a hold of somebody that somebody wants to know? Well, it's easy. You can just contact a department by email and or by phone. Um, and if you visit our webpage and go to the division and departments section of the webpage, that information has all, it lists all the departments and departments will be monitoring uh, emails and voicemails and they will respond to requests within a reasonable amount of time. Um, Zanthi, there's a quick tip here. So on our website, www.egusd.net, there is a little search bar. If they type in, if anyone that needs to get a hold of a specific department types in that word, so if they need to get a hold of elementary education, they could just type that in and it'll pop up the website will pop up for them for quick and easy access. Thank you, Sandy. That's an awesome tip too. I forgot about the search bar. <laughs> yeah. What about the deadlines of specific documents? Um, you know, we're going to be mindful, and that's something that we all talked about. We're going to be mindful of any kind of deadlines, especially when it comes to enrollment. There are deadlines to have to make. Um, so people will be noting that uh, in their requests. Yes. So that's all we have for today's district update. Please read today's letter for reminders on services and resources as well as the links to them because we do have a lot of links embedded in today's letter. So be sure to review it and click on those helpful links. Correct. All right, now, Sunday, let's go to the county and state update. On okay, time. sounds good. So as of today, April 13th, according to the Sacramento County Department of Public Health, the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Sacramento County is now at 739. Uh, well, by age group, confirmed COVID-19 cases are as follows. In the zero to 17 age group, there are eight. 
In ages 18 to 49, there are 311. In ages 50 through 64, there are 182 reported cases. And in ages 65 and over, it's 238. Unfortunately, 27 souls or individuals have now died um, from complications of COVID-19. And they were either 65 and over or had an underlying health condition. Zanthi, as you're aware, last week, the Sacramento County issued a new public health order for all residents to continue to stay home and extended the terms of the order to increase social distancing and reduce person-to-person -person contact to further slow transmission of COVID-19. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so for those uh, waiting to get tested, Remember that there is a mobile testing site available. I believe it's set up over at Cal Expo. You can check everything out on the um, California, on the, I'm sorry, Sacramento County Department of Health website. But this uh, mobile testing is set up over there at Cal Expo. Testing is by appointment only. And you can register for an appointment by going to the website that they have set up. It's the projectbaseline.com website. And the COVID-19 location doesn't accept any people who are just walking up without an appointment. So you have to be registered. Those who are not registered will not be tested. And also don't forget, there's no medical care on the site. And now across California, as of April 11th, there are nearly 22,000 positive cases and 651 deaths in California. Mm. Thank you, Sandy. Well, that's it for today's edition of EGU News. Make sure you subscribe to us at youtube.com slash Elk Grove Unified. I'm Santi Pinkerton. And I'm Sandeep Dosange. We'll see you next time.